What's up YouTube, Tommy Har with The Real Side of Real Estate. Today, I've got an amazing video for you. I'm training one of our new team members. He's learning how to lock up deals, and I'm gonna show you exactly how we look at deals and how we run numbers backwards to get to an offer price. So today, we're going to a house we've never been to, follow along as we find ARV, we go to the house, we evaluate it, we find rehab costs, and we come back into the office and we run numbers to get to an offer price. So if you're somebody that's looking to look at deals, make offers, and become a real estate investor, you need to spend the time to watch this video because this is exactly how a professional real estate investor looks at deals every single day, and this is one of the hardest things to learn. So follow along to the end, it's gonna be a good one. Let's get to it. Welcome to The Real Side of Real Estate. All right, so like I said, never been to the house, don't know anything about it. So what we want to do here is going to be like a full, instead of like evaluating a deal um, through pictures, I want to go comp it here, figure out what the value is, mm -hmm. and then work backwards, go to the house, figure out a rough rehab just by kind of pointing things out. And then like we'll talk about money costs, we'll talk about exit strategies, and then come down to probably an offer price that we would want to pay for something like that. So Perfect. this is good for you because like if when wholesalers send you something, the sticker price doesn't really mean anything. Mm -hmm. It's just, okay, what's, what's it going to be worth? What's the rehab going to be? What's our money going to cost? Then it gets down to this. And then we need to be able to describe that to these wholesalers and agents while we're making these offers. Gotcha. So I think this will be fun. We're going to, this is, I, this one of my friends just bought this. He said, just clean it out. They've not started work. So it's going to be like, it's going to be a perfect um, scenario. Perfect. So 873 Melrose, what's the first thing we want to do if we want to start to comp this thing out? Um, we're going to go to Zillow. Okay. And see what's sold in the area. Okay. Before that. So this says it's a two bed, one bath. Okay. 920 square Well, what foot. I've been doing is I've been writing that down. Okay. I do two, one, and then the square feet, and then look up okay. on, um, Let's do that. on the auditor. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep some notes here. Yeah, because I always be forgetting. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All right, so I just write down the address usually. All right, so 873. I just do two, one, and then 920. Okay. But first, I double check it on the auditor to make okay. sure. 973 Melrose. Was that right? 873. Yeah, 873. All right. So, 920 square foot, two bed, one bath, built in 1942. Cool. Um, let's look at a picture here just to kind of get an idea. Yeah, that's helpful. Okay. Not a bad little house. Yeah, it's cute. All right, so two one. It looks like they maybe made a garage living space at some point. Oh, wow. let me get out of here. Melrose is here. Where are we at? Is that white one? Is this one? Yes, this one. Okay. So first glance, I guess, like without. I mean, we're not comping yet. But what are you seeing? I mean, it looks all right to me. Okay. I mean, I'm still not the best at judging from pictures, especially far away ones like this, but okay. I mean, it looks like the roof looks fine. Um, I mean, the windows look okay, but I definitely could be wrong on this one. So. Okay. Well, let's dig into comping first and then we'll do all that in person anyway. Perfect. All right. So <clears throat> what are we going to do here? We're going to see um, what's sold. Okay. Sold. Yeah. And I start uh, with nine, the last 90 days. Last 90 days. That gives you the best cool. accurate reading. All right. There. So what's the, uh, as far as comping goes here, so you got this neighborhood. What Are there any rules of thumbs you want yeah, to follow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go over any main streets. Okay. So this one here. Yeah. Try to definitely stay. try not to go over any highways. Okay. So try and stay in this pocket right here. Yeah. With, in between uh, Broadway and Weber, right? Okay. Yeah. And then just start clicking, right? Correct. And if I got one that looks similar um, to the one we're trying to find, the ARV, then that's the one I start with. So this is a 3 1 here. Yep. Clearly needs some work, right? Yeah, definitely. Same size, too. So you want to, like, obviously mm -hmm. 
put that maybe in your head that maybe there is some space in this house when we walk it to add another bedroom. Sure. That's obviously immediate value. Um, and then lastly, does this one have a garage or not? Let's check that out. Yeah, I didn't see one. It looks like, I don't know. Let's go back to that Google Earth here real quick. So I think this is the house here. Is that their garage then? Or is that? <sighs> it's hard to tell, man. Yeah. Right, so the house is, the house is here. It's gotta be the garage, right? Right, yeah. yeah. It's on the property. So it's got so a nice, I don't know huh? Shit, I don't know. Where is that <laughs> that one? It looks like the door is on the right side of the garage. I can go over. That's oh, okay, so it's this house. So it has a garage. A oh, okay, that's kind of neat. One kind of two car -y. That's very weird. Very weird. So the yeah. garage is here on the lot. So that's a big thing. Yeah, detached. <clears throat> okay. So let's start looking at the higher dollar comps and see if we can't find some good stuff here. So 4-2. I don't really want to look at that. 3-1. About the same size. Mm -hmm. Needs rehab. <clears throat> 155-2-1. 2-1. Eight hundred sixteen square foot. I mean, Close. how would you describe this one? Uh, old. Okay, needs some updated. So, but I not mean, a full rehab by any means. So, right. kind of the same house. So, yeah, as is like and as is comp might be one fifty five. Okay. I mean, that's a yeah, pretty apples apples house. Um, let's see here. Three one on Grasmere. This one's updated. Not like overly nice, but it's there. Yeah, it's doable. It's a 3 1, no garage. So I'm going to kind of remember that one. Yeah. And I usually do. If it's a close comp, then I'm, I'm making notes and jotting it down. So what I really want to find some 2 1s here. So let's yeah. maybe try and. All right, here we go. 2 1, Pontiac. This one is nicely updated. Pretty cool, actually. <coughs> okay. That is cool. Definitely different. Yeah. Does it have a garage? Huge lot. Huge. No garage? Wow, huge lot, double lot. Mm. So I would, so, I mean, I would definitely write this down as a comp. Yeah, for sure. um, Three zero three eight Pontiac, same size, no garage. One seventy eight, you said. That's what um. You're... Yes. Okay. Okay. We got this house here. After you're done writing that, so we got eight one eight Eddie Snow. It's a two two. So the first thing I'm thinking when it says three thirteen hundred square foot, it either has like a Cape Cod or maybe the basement's finished. Right. Right, right. So hardwood floors. Yeah, this is still pretty old. Wow. Wild. Let's see. Bathroom. Okay, it's got a Cape Cod. And it's got a finished basement. So they're definitely counting part of that finished uh, basement as yeah. square footage there. Nice lot, big All garage. Right. Sold for 212. Okay. I would definitely write that down. Yeah. <clears throat> That was, sorry, 818 sorry. Eddie Stone. Oh, that's right, okay. All right, cool. Okay. And then there's a 140 right here. 2 one, thousand square foot. Got vinyl windows, aluminum siding, old doors. As is, maybe you could call that turnkey, but shitty turnkey. Mm -hmm. One car garage, um, sold for 140. Uh -huh. So that's a good as is comp. I don't know the condition of ours, but we looked at it online and it looked like it was in decent shape. So I would say probably it's worth, unless it's like really messed up on the inside of the gut. I mean, it's gotta be worth mid ones, right? Right. As is. Yeah, 150. We can maybe start sliding up. A little bit more here and seeing what these are selling for. Oh, sorry. You want me to 
pull that address up. Um, yeah, East that last Como. one, sorry. 811 East Como. <coughs> Cool. So I'm going above North Broadway because you don't have a ton of comps here to go off of. Nah, that one might be a decent one here. Or I, I could. To to I do sometimes go to six months, the last six months. Ah, uh, so, yeah, let's do yeah. that first. Good call. Thanks. Okay, a few things popped up. 2-2. Two, two. 185 on McGuffey. Nice LVP floors, nice ceiling fan, got an accent wall, granite countertops, decent cabinets. It's a nice house. Nice. So I'm assuming this second bathroom is going to be in the basement. So finished basement as well. So I got a full mm. bath in the basement. So this is definitely a good comp. Nice yard, yeah. uh, central air. Sold a little bit longer. I mean, the market was a little bit rougher around this time, so 185. So if we okay. finish the basement and add a bathroom, I'd say at least 185. Probably maybe screwed up to 200 because you got this one here that is lesser and sold new sooner. Let's go up this way here. So 204 on Lenore. 1,200 square foot. 1193 Lenore. So same thing. We've got. Nice roof, decent curb appeal. Got some LVP floors. Looks like a typical boxy Linden house here. Boob lights, no backsplash. Very, very basic here. Uh -huh. Very, but clean. So you got shower inserts, LVP floors, paint. They finished part of the basement here. So that is a half, oh, another full bath downstairs, okay. So I would say, knowing all of those, let's actually, let's go to pendings real quick too. Okay. Let's see what's for sale. All right, and we wanna to go to accepting backup offers and pending contracts, which is quite a few. Okay, we got a 200K here. 3-1, not in contract, don't even wanna look at it. 235, 4-2. <coughs> So I think this one also probably has a finished basement. So this is pending within nine days. Contingent, let's see what it looks like. About the same as the other one. Mm -hmm. Not that nice, really. Yeah, doable. Carpet. This is gonna be your basement here, because you got the soffits. Full finished basement. A couple bedrooms in the basement and a bathroom. And that's pending for 235. Let's see what that may look like. How fast is this going contract? So this thing got listed for sale. Uh, pending sale at 100. Sold. Oh, this thing sold. Okay. So it's a flipper. So they bought it for 135. They're reselling it for 235. It went contingent two days wow. at 235. It's a great sign. Wow. So. If we finish the basement, add square footage in the basement, in a bedroom and maybe a bathroom, or two bedrooms and a bathroom, we look like we might be able to get low twos. Yeah. But you always gotta balance out, okay, what's the price gonna be of finishing out the basement in these areas, the basements are, I know in Linden that foundations are typically bad and there's usually water in those basements, so we're gonna uh, have to look at waterproofing it okay. and getting it ready to do all that stuff. Yeah, so yeah. you'll learn those nuances of, right. these, of these areas. So decide if you're gonna finish it or not. Gotcha. <clears throat> okay, we got 270 here pending. Hardwood floors, three, three, 1100 square foot. If it's 1100 square foot and they have three bathrooms, you know one's in the basement. For sure, it's got to. Nice lot. I mean, it's great curb appeal. Great finishes, I mean, yeah. those are Lowe's cabinets, basic granite, subway, tile. This is what a rehab, like our, our basic rehab would look like. Cape Cod. You got a bathroom up in the Cape Cod, they finished the basement, and they probably put a bathroom down there in the basement as well. No garage, Ooh. 270 pending. Ooh. Let's see what this thing's pending for. So listed for sale, 314. It took 15 days or 17 days to go into contract. So 
I can imagine that this thing's been maybe sitting. So this one was listed. They also removed the listing, listed for sale again. So I'm going to kind of erase this one from my mind because it's, to me, a clear outlier. Gotcha. 4-1, contingent. I want to look at how many bedrooms. 188. Here we go. 3-1. 187.9. Clean. Hello? Very clean. <clears throat> Very basic uh, kitchen. Honestly, pretty ugly. <laughs> okay, you got a bathroom. Got a half bath, too. Contingent for. 187. This was south of no garage. Oh yeah, one car garage south of. Uh, or it's right on Weber actually. Or no, okay. south of Weber. So that's the pocket we're in anyway. Or no, we're up here. So yeah. knowing all those things that we just looked at, mm -hmm. what do you think? Keeping it a two one versus maybe knowing you can maybe add some value in the basement there, mm -hmm. turning it into a three two. What do you think as a two one finished? As a 2-1, uh, maybe like the low 200s, maybe. Okay. And then uh, with the finished basement uh, and adding all that other stuff, um, maybe add another 60 grand or something. Okay. Something like I would that. probably, I would probably almost lower, I would say if we did a 2-1, I would list this thing for 189.9 or 199.9. Okay. If we do it really nice. Yeah. And then if we finish the basement, probably you're looking at, 229 to 239. Gotcha. Um, just by looking at all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you got a nice lot. It's got a nice garage, corner lot. But we were looking up in this area more a little bit too at the pendant. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So this one here is contingent. 3 1. Uh, this is more north. So as Izzy. But I think as a 2 1. You're 80. looking hot. Yeah, 180 is probably a good 180, 185. Okay, okay. And then 225 to 230. With so let's the, write that yeah. down. Yeah. Because we're going to balance that out as we go to um, look at the rehab. Because if it's 189.9 as a 2 1, and this thing's got foundation issues, and in order to finish that basement, you got to do a French drain, mm. you got to do all, you got to do 30 grand of work. Is it worth spending 30 more grand to get 40-ish more of ARV? Sometimes not. Sometimes yeah. not. So yeah. you got to really go into these knowing yeah. that that's what it may be. And then once you write that down, we'll go through a couple other things before we hit the road. Okay. So then the next thing, just before we even go to this house, we already looked at it on the maps. We want to look at the age. So this house was built in 1942. Gotcha. So remember, there's eras of houses. You have... 1800s, about 1930, 1940, 1940 to 1965 ish. Okay. 1965 till now. Those three eras have three different types of, of mostly mechanical. So we're going to be looking at does it have plaster walls? What kind of electric is running through the walls? Gotcha. Um, what kind of plumbing system does it have? What kind of insulation does it maybe have in the attic? Because in 1940, they had two wire electric, so no ground wires. So we're going to have to upgrade that if we see it. But we're going into this thinking that it's going to be that way until proven otherwise. Right. So if we're looking at pictures right now, I need pictures to show me that it is not that. So if it was a 1900s house, I'm immediately thinking, okay, if this house has never been gutted, I think it's going to be not a tube electric. So for this house, it's going to be likely um, two wire electric, and we're going to have maybe some galvanized and cast iron plumbing, which is what we'll talk about when we get there. Yeah. And then, um, Probably some asbestos on the ductwork, stuff like that. Gotcha. So we'll, go, we'll, I'll, we'll point all those out as we go, but let's uh, hit the road. All right. So the first thing I like to do is kind of just look at the house in the front. So I kind of compartmentalize things. So you need to go front, side, side, back. And then what are each component of a house? So like, what are you seeing? What, 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 all, what all the things can we evaluate on this house here? All right. Uh, the <clears throat> first thing that popped out to me was the step right there. Okay. All right, that's got some damage, obviously. Okay. Um, well, before we even talk about what's messed up, okay. like big items, what are the big things that we're going to throw on a scope of work and a budget? Uh, windows. Okay. Roof. Good. Siding. Roof. Siding. Um, doors. Okay. 
you know. What else? Stuff like that. Um, landscaping. Okay. What else? And I'm missing a big one here, huh? No. I no. mean, it's all, they're Fence. all the same. So we got fencing. Yeah. We've got walkways. We've got driveway. Um, we've got what's called grading. So how does the house sit on the lot? So does, how does, how does it handle water? Uh, gutters. Okay. Yeah, gutters, yeah. <clears throat> um, chimneys. But you got a lot of the big stuff. So now, as you know those stuff, you want to kind of go one by one and look at them from each side. So the roof, do you know what kind of roof this is? No. Okay. This is a three-tab asphalt roof. Gotcha. So why do they call it that? Because they come in tabs of three. Okay. So that roof over there looks different, right? Yeah. That is what's called a dimensional roof. Okay. It's called dimensional because it looks like it's 3D. They sit on top of each other. They're heavier. Those last longer. So those are 25-year roofs. This is a 15 to 18 year roof. Sure, okay. This is more susceptible to winds because they lay flat. And as winds come up, you see how like they're kind of pulling up there? Uh-huh. They'll the high winds can pull them up and rip off shingles. Oof. So if we were in a newer neighborhood, like a 2000s neighborhood, and they mm -hmm. had this and the neighbor had that one, I want to know which one's original, which is not. But this is a 40s area, so we gotta use other context clues. So you wanna look for one missing shingles, and then two. You can kind of see around some of the corners of the shingles, a mm -hmm. little bit of shininess. Once the once the roof starts to wear, it'll get the, the fiberglass under there will start to show. So without walking this roof, I would say it's probably 10 to 12 to 12, 10 to 12, it's probably got five to seven years left on it. Okay. So <clears throat> that's the roof. And then, like I said, as we go around it, so we'll, before we even go in the fence, we'll go around and we'll look at the roof from all sides, cool. see if there's any clear issues. <clears throat> um, next, siding. Do you know what kind of siding this is? No. Nope. <clears throat> okay, so let's go look at it. <clears throat> so obviously two different kinds. Yeah. What we got? Any no, guesses? I couldn't tell you, no. All right, so this is wood. Okay. This is plastic, vinyl. Right. They call okay. it vinyl. vinyl. Vinyl is just a, a, a cooler word for plastic. It's just plastic and honestly I don't know why they did this down here likely it was a stone veneer like over there <clears throat> okay. that was ripping off the house and this was their fix for it gotcha so you got vinyl vinyl can last a long time you're gonna have mildew like this uh -huh. so if you start to see a lot of mildew you want to probably pressure wash this thing this if we want to get top air V what are we gonna do to it you gotta take it out no well, you can't can you, you can paint it oh you can, okay yeah. paint it yeah yeah so okay I would just paint it so other than that, the front of the house looks pretty good, obviously. So we got the landscape. So in, in our typical flips, we're gonna rip this up, just do a nice mulch bed, clean it up, pretty it up, nothing insane. Okay. Um, make sure there's nothing insane growing in the yard, but just clean, functional, nothing over the top. Okay, windows. <clears throat> this is a 1942 house. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about things having eras and originality and things yeah. like that. What are you, I'm trying to think if, if there's a reference point here, but there's not really. What do you think these windows are original to this house? No, probably not. Okay. Why what kind of windows are these? I don't know what kind <clears throat> they are, but I would say I mean, I would say they need replaced. Okay. So these are vinyl windows. Okay. Double hung vinyl windows. So these have a thermal pane in between the two. So you got you can see in through the window here. So that this is this is an upgraded window that they use now. And it's got efficiency in the middle. So it's got gas. So when you're running your heating or cooling, it doesn't escape out the windows. Oh. So once you start to see, uh, we'll see if there's a bad window here, but th these windows actually don't look bad. Oh. So <clears throat> this is good. So 42, area, you, you think a house like across the street, that looks like it might be aluminum still. Mm -hmm. You would have aluminum or old wooden windows in these houses, which are single pane, which allows the stuff to escape. And you expect these windows not to open and shut as good. So the way you look, you just want to see the whiteness. And on the deal analyzer, you'll see windows with trim coil. Mm -hmm. This is what trim coil is. So instead of replacing boards of wood, you just bend this metal stuff over top of it and secure it in with these finished nails. Ah. And this is weatherproof. It looks good and it lasts much longer than wood. So that's what we do when we replace windows instead of doing all this fucking wood and all this stuff that's really expensive. Gotcha. <clears throat> Okay, so you already looked at the stoop. Obviously, we need to do something here. Yeah. So we've got a thing in the deal analyzer for patch concrete steps, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So just 
if we were writing stuff down, we probably, do we bring that notepad? No. Okay. Let's, uh, let's start a, a note on our phone here. Yeah. Um, of stuff we're, we're saying. And then front door. Okay. What do you think? Uh, looks all right at first glance. Okay. Definitely, I mean, it's been painted. Looks like plenty of So it's probably an original door. Okay. It looks okay. I mean, with doors and wood trim, you can like putty this stuff and mm -hmm. smooth it out, sand it down a little bit. I would keep this door. Okay. Especially in this price point, this ARV, especially if you go look at comps again. I want to try, I want to keep all the big items if I can. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of repair to them if I need, but a door with, with a, with a whole insert is installed 650 bucks. So if you can paint it for 150, 200, yeah. you're saving $400 right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Um, cool. Let's write down some notes yeah. here. <clears throat> Stoop. And then for like paint exterior siding, I would call this just to be careful, one half of the of the house's wood. I mean, we obviously haven't seen the sides yet, but it looks like they did it, or, nope, they didn't do it around. So let's call it one... Fourth? Not Third. even, one, one eighth maybe. Ah. Okay. So square footage wise, you could probably say, I don't know, 200 square foot. <clears throat> All right, 200 squares. Gotcha. Okay, and if I start getting too intricate, let me know. Mm. But these are a couple of things that I see, right? So there's two things I see right here. <clears throat> Number one is we just talked about windows, so uh -huh. I'm gonna talk about it here. You see how there's all this pixelization? Yeah. That means this window has gone bad. Uh, so that means the gas has escaped and you start to have these seals that are blown. You don't have to replace the window. You can reseal the window and put a new pane in. So for 150 bucks, instead of 350, mm -hmm. you can pop a new pane in this nice. window. So I wouldn't mark that down. Okay. So I'd say replace or repair window on the side. We call that a fogged window. Okay. <clears throat> yep, argon gas. And then the next thing I see, so remember we talked about foundations and basements. You wanna, you, you wanna look around the outside if you're on site to get context clues to ever see if there's a, if there's issues. So you'll see on corners of the house, mm -hmm. cracks, you wanna see anything that you can see. So what do you think this pipe is coming out of the basement here? And it's tying into our gutter. What are gutters handle? Drainage. Water. Water, yeah. Okay, so this thing is, this is some sort of water and it's tying in and that's going down to the curb. What is that? Uh, sewage. <clears throat> Do the gutters handle sewage? No, no they rain. Don't. Rain. Yeah. So here, uh, any pipe coming out of a basement like this, that tells me that they might have a French drain or something. They have a sump pump system down there. I just don't know what kind it is yet. Gotcha. So there's two types of sump pumps. Well, there's two types of things. So we'll talk about when you go down there. There's a sump pump or a flood pit, and there's a French drain. One is a reactive system, one's a passive system. So we'll, we'll talk about that more and more as we go in. So <clears throat> let's uh, step back here. Hopefully we don't get shot. <laughs> so we want to, I always try to kind of do this as I walk around and look at the roof. So you want to look for any missing shingles, any signs of major or any leaks. You seeing anything? There's no wrong answer here, obviously. Um, I mean, it looks all right looks to me, right? Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit like faded. Uh -huh. Yeah, so sure. I say it, I say it's solid. Faded. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now we're, since we're over on this side of the house, let's just finish up right here okay so we're looking at this side of the house what do you see needs power washed okay good easy the gutters look pretty fucked okay so and window okay so instead of wrapping the coil on these windows they have pressed wood mm -hmm. and look how rotten that oh, is oh yeah so what we can do instead of replacing this wood we can just trim coil this oh nice so we got a picture vinyl window and then we can either paint it or we can cut it out and replace it or we can cap it with vinyl. So minimally, it's either gonna coil wrap this or repair the trim. Cause this stuff is actually pretty good still. Eh, it's rotten in the corners, which is common, but. Okay. <clears throat> but these are, what'd you write down? Yep. 
These gutters, there's two different kinds. There's seamless and there's non-seamless. What are these, do you know? No. So these are seamless. seamless. So they go from side to side. There's no gaps where they have uh, breaks in them. Okay. Where they have breaks in them, those are cheap. You get them from Lowe's Home Depot, they leak there. Uh. So here they bend them and they put them up for the house and therefore there's no, there's no breaking points for water. Gotcha. So the gutters can be pressure washed with the house. Behind it, you got what's called a fascia board. And it looks like it's a little bit weathered. You might want to pull them off or minimally paint where you can't see uh, the fascia. So over here, pressure wash, repair yes. this, and we're, we're solid. <clears throat> so it's looking like the outside of this house is pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, not horrible. Okay, and then also as you're going around, you want to count the, the, the small things. Yeah. We got one light fixture here. <clears throat> We've got a mailbox that we need to replace. <laughs> we probably need a handrail leading up to the front door. And we need new house numbers. So all of those things, 50 bucks here, 75 bucks here. Adds up. That shit adds up yeah. fast. <clears throat> okay, let's go back here and look at this roof. And then we can probably call it there. Okay. You seeing anything? The gutter's falling. Okay, that's good. And just because a gutter's falling does not mean it's bad too. It could just need repinned. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, that's the first thing I noticed. I mean, okay. it, it looks a lot cleaner as roof far as decent. the, yeah. yeah, the roof looks all right. <laughs> so what we can do, and if we don't know the age, what I would do is I would go back to Google Earth mm -hmm. and you can go back in time. And if you see the roof change colors, fucking love technology. It'll be, it's fucking awesome. Yeah. Internet, okay. so helpful. And then we got the fence. So we got a six foot wood picket fence. This needs to go, right? It doesn't need to go per se. I mean, if it was a rental, I mean, people love privacy yeah. at the end of the day. Like I would most likely in this, I would repin some of these boards up and get the Fix debris off of it. Mm -hmm. And if you pressure wash it, you probably got to stain it. Yeah. Almost got to keep it as is. It depends on how high of ARV you want to go. Gotcha. But, but if you replace boards, it makes it look even shittier. So then you got to do something even more. Like you got to paint it. Oh, gotcha. And really painting wood fences never really looks that good at the end of the day. Oh yeah. You see the window there? Mm-hmm. Same thing. Oh, foggy window. Yep. So I'd write that down. It's a nice yard. And we'll go in the backyard here in a minute, but we'll talk okay. about the garage. This fence is not great, that's for sure. Yeah. So let's let's make a note to, let's look at the posts on the inside and let's see if we maybe just need to replace pickets. Okay. Um, because it is, an, it is nice to have. Yeah, especially, fences are so especially nice. Especially in these, like, I call this, this would be a C plus, B minus area. Gotcha. <clears throat> People, it's a selling point. Garages, mm -hmm. fences, privacy. Making sure your, your, your family's safe is a big mm -hmm. thing. Okay, garage. Okay. I mean, it looks all right. I mean, the, the door is a little dented, but okay. uh, power washing. Okay. And gutter maybe painted or something. Okay. So we got a couple components here. We got the door, which is damaged. So we're probably just going to have to replace this. So it's a single car door. We pay about $1,500 for everything new. We'll look at the tracks on the inside and see if it's okay. You might be able to get these panels replaced, mm -hmm. but for the sake of probably budgeting, just replace, probably budget yeah. about twelve hundred. Okay. You got vinyl siding up on the. This is a gable up here, so this is block, and then you got frame from up to make the the roof trusses. So we got a piece of siding missing. The the paint's chipping. Also, if we're gonna go flip this house, within if you want to go FHA on a loan, you can't have any chipping paint throughout the entire house, oh any God. windows, any, the, the appraiser will call this out and the loan wow. will not go through if that happens. Jeez, picky. Very. Garage door. <clears throat> so garage door, if we're gonna go and, and do some painting, we should probably repaint this, this, uh, this block just to kind of brighten it up. And we're gonna paint the fascia, so scrape and paint the fascia. So if you're doing any exterior wood siding painting, scrape and paint. You should always either scrape pressure wash or yeah. scrape. Gotcha. And then you've got a driveway that is grass. I don't know how deep you want to go. We can look at comps. 
but minimally I think you should pour a pad or gravel it. Gravel, yeah, for so, sure. That would look much better, I think. For a pad this big, I would say we're gonna budget probably three grand. Oh, wow. Concrete's not cheap <laughs> at all. <clears throat> so, and then lastly, you won't, you won't see this stuff right away, but that chimney, Oh gosh. It needs a cap, so so rain doesn't go down in the top. And then it also looks like the, the, the mortar is coming loose up top. So when we go to, I'm always looking at if we're gonna, when we, when we sell this house, what do they have to do? And the inspector's yeah. definitely gonna find that. So we might as well jump on it right away. Mm -hmm. So I'd write down tuck point chimney. Tuck point. And then maybe in parentheses put minor. So tuck pointing is taking a little <clears throat> shovel, almost looking thing, mm -hmm. taking mortar and putting it in between the joints so those bricks are nice and secured. Gotcha. All right. So by the way, the front of that house was definitely a garage at one point. They converted. Really? Yeah. Huh. All right, so over here. Remember, Linden is known for foundation issues, so you yep. want to always look at how the moisture is handled. So it looks like the concrete goes away, which is good because you see all this stuff. If the moisture stayed, all of this debris, so this is like water debris buildup, mm -hmm. it would be stuck right up against the house. Oh. So you want to look for that stuff. Um, let's go line by line here. So we got door. Did we already talk? Did we already write down another light fixture? Oh, we probably keep that light fixture, honestly. It's not bad. So door, what are you doing here? What are we doing here? You can probably let it go, mate. I'd say paint it. Okay. Yeah. It looks all right. Good. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Right, I think so too. So then also the trim. Trim, and yeah. And then if the if these screen doors are ratty. Which this one's not horrible. Mm -hmm. I mean, pressure wash and paint and or just remove. We won't replace the, the screen door. Okay, it doesn't we'll have just, value we'll or just nothing. just take it off. Not okay. really. Yeah. I think, I never use mine at home. I think it's annoying. All right. <clears throat> okay, so you still got a good mix of aluminum coil window around the windows, which is here. This window also. So you either get the pixelization over here. You see that in that window? Or yeah. you get this moisture in between the panes. So this window is also bad. Ah, uh, okay. So that tells me that these things are a little bit old. And honestly, we should probably just have a window guy. This one's bad too. Eh, might just be dirty. It looks bad though. Window guy come and evaluate probably all of them. All right. So this one has the wood around it. So we're gonna probably, as the window guy is here, just coil it so everything matches. Cool. All right, gutters, Oof. it's fallen off, probably because yeah. this cable wires pulled it down and the fascia behind it's really rotten. So what we need to do is pull this gutter off, replace the board going across, paint it, then repin the gutter back up. Oh. <clears throat> and then another thing you want to look for when things have basements are what kind of basement windows they have. So you got nice, block windows. It looks like they brought the siding down actually. The siding should probably stop like here. But you got block windows here, block windows here, and your laundry is right there. So your laundry is in the basement. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it looks good. It doesn't look like moisture is really pooling around it. And then this is what I was talking about with the foundations. I know I'm throwing a lot at you, but you see how it's a little bit out? Yeah. So the corner here, I'm gonna expect to look at this corner and maybe have a little bit of foundation movement okay. from the outside. Okay, look at our garage. What do you see right away? Gutter. Okay. Gone. Okay, what else do you got to do before the gutter? Uh, we're going to paint and power wash. Okay. What is your gutter pin up to? Um, the roof. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be your, this is called your fascia board. Fascia board, that's right. So yeah, yeah. fascia, so this is an easy way to look at it. Fascia. Fascia. Yeah. Soft it. Okay. Soffit runs under the fascia, so gutter pins to the to the fascia. Soffit runs under it. So this house does not have soffit. Huh. It just has fascia. But most houses, I mean, I don't know if there's any here, they they come out like so the roof goes here, the house goes here, but the roof goes out a little bit. So you have a little bit of there. Mm -hmm. And that's they ventilate up through there. So ventilation in the soffit up to the up through the attic. Garage door. What are you doing with that? Looks <clears> fine. Okay. Yeah. Paint. 
Yeah, paint it. We also, if we were really getting a budget, we're counting all the dead bolts as well. Okay. So, um, that one looks all right, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks yeah. good, but we might not have the key. Uh, so if we were gonna go, we always budget to rekey things okay. anyway. Okay, you got all this rot, so we need to retrim around this. <coughs> New window. We'll likely glass block this. Okay. And then we'll look at the back of the house here and talk through the back of the house. All right. Ready. All right, tell me what you see. Kind of talk through the components. How's the siding look? Siding looks all right. Looks great. Yeah, yeah, I Windows? think so. Windows look fine. Okay. I'd good. say, I mean, at first glance, definitely. First glance look good. Yeah. But knowing good, now man. what we know about the other ones, so like half of them are, have gone bad. When we get inside, we want to look at them closely. Yeah, Make sure they operate. For sure. Um, electrical meter. You just want to see if there's anything falling off. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's meter on there. That looks good to me. Yeah, looks all right. Air conditioner. Looks a little old. Okay. How, yeah. old, how old is that thing? I don't know. Can you tell a me? A 1942. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how to find the age of it? No. Okay. So go down and look at this bottom plate where Rob's at. Mm -hmm. You might have to get down on your knees there. Gotcha. There you go. Yeah. Looks like a Goodman. Goodman. Uh, serial number? Date. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I see a serial number. What's the first number of the serial number? The two no first new numbers. Uh, zero, 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 seven, four. Okay, so that's a 2000 build air conditioner. Oh. So it's 24 years old. Damn. All right. So is that a 2007 or is this 2000? Oh, um, I'd have to look it up, but I'm almost positive Goodman is first. Okay. So first two, yeah. Okay. So 2000. All right. <clears throat> got another window over here. I don't know what this Windows. is. Windows. Yeah. Oh, they probably hit a, hit a log. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's finish up the back of the house here. Okay. So they've got the gutters kicking away from the foundation. So that tells me that at some point there was probably water getting down there. There's no way. Homeowners don't know anything about houses. Yeah. So if you're looking at a homeowner's house and they have that, there was an issue at some point. Mm -hmm. So they're kicking their uh, gutters away. We've got our last window. Looks iffy. So we'll look at that a little closer when we get on the inside. And then we got another block window, which is great. Okay. We got our fence that is pretty ratty. Yeah. But the posts on the other side looked okay. What we got another window, so two windows on the garage so far. The siding looks okay. We could pressure wash that. Yeah. Paint the fascia. So remember, fascia. fascia is the boards. Anytime yep. you can see it front, it's gonna be a fascia board. Oh wow, this is wild. <clears throat> Damn. Hmm. Okay. We might have to replace this roof. So there was a there was definitely a pat, like a awning that went over right here. You see how they cut the boards yep. off? Yeah. Okay. Good call on that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, they they're holding the fence up with <laughs> zip ties in the yard. Nice. I think that's wild. You got a nice entrance through the back too. I mean, this is a nice yard. Yeah. It's got potential. Yeah. I mean, this thing is this thing's ready to go. So I would say we got to make the determination. Look at the comps. Do you put a whole new fence in or do you just scrap it completely? Gotcha. So it's, that's, that's gonna be a, dis, a decision we gotta just make when we're doing our due diligence. Okay, maybe new roof for All garage. Right, we gotta... Zip tie holding that. All right. Big enough garage. They might yeah. have the power on, honestly. They do. That's crazy. There's one door, but it's too I don't far. know why they would do that. I mean, I you kind of limit your options here. Yeah. Okay. So, it's got power, which is great. Okay. Um, it's got its own service. So, this adds a little bit of complexity. It's got its own, what would that be? 100 amp, 100 amp service. So, in a panel, you just want to see like what what wires are coming off it. So here's your wiring. It's all stripped. I don't know why they would do that, but yeah. um, 
not a whole lot. So they had an air compressor out here, they had, and then outlets. Looks like they did some car stuff out here. This looks like something for oil mm -hmm. or maybe air. That's air compressor. <clears throat> so they're probably man caving it out for here. Sure. And then last thing I see is this down here. So I'll let Rob kind of shine the light. Do you have any idea what this stuff right here is? Nope. Termite tubes. Oh. <clears throat> so those are termite tubes. Now this is block, obviously. They're not gonna do anything on that, but I can't see any of the other wood, which is a little bit concerning. So maybe remove all this stuff on the ceiling and possibly have to treat this thing for termites. Oof. So the termites colonize in tubes. So they're, they're in these little mounds right. of, of, uh, of dirt. Hey. Hey now. <laughs> There's frogs here too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. I would say it's decent. I mean, it needs probably a new opener, but me the, the mechanical side looks okay. All right, Matt, give me a recap. What do you got in your notes for, uh, notes. for the outside of this place? All righty, all righty, all righty. So um, we're gonna paint uh, all the wood on the bottom. Okay. Uh, about 200 square feet. Okay. We're gonna replace four foggy windows okay. and look at the other ones. Okay. All right, we're gonna pressure wash. Uh, we're gonna fix the fence over there and then the garage. Uh, we're gonna replace the garage door, um, paint the garage and scrape it. Uh, the driveway for the garage, we're gonna okay. gravel that. Um, we're gonna repin the gutter over on that side, I think. Okay and replace the fascia behind it. Yeah, the okay. fascia, yeah, I gotta put that in there, yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, and then, yeah, repin the gutter, uh, retrim the garage door, uh, right. maybe replace it. Um, and then there's the garage window that we're gonna, we're gonna replace that, I believe, two too. Two of them. Yeah, two of them, okay, yeah. All right, times two. And the fence, I don't know if I said that, but the fence, we're gonna decide if we're gonna uh, fix it up, replace yeah, it's not it, or just fixable anymore. Now we saw the back. I'd okay, say it's gonna be all replaced or all gone. Replace so. or gone? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. okay. Paint exterior doors. Yeah. Okay. One next. One exterior light fixture. Yeah, light fixture too. Concrete yeah. patch, maybe a handrail. Okay. And if we were here doing this whole thing, we were actually evaluating, I would say, let's take some videos, let's take some pictures, but for yeah. today, no. Yeah, for uh, sure. <clears throat> just so you can always reference back to- And we're just going a little fast through yeah. this, you know? I, if, you know, I would be going in more detail. Sure. Uh, we're not replacing the roof. We don't want to. All right, here we go. Smoked in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so stuff. you see how this drops down? This was definitely a garage. Nice. So, right away, what what are you thinking? Um, I mean, let's take it all out. No, just no. like the, what I'm th when I'm when I'm going in any house, I'm thinking how I can add value. Okay. So remember, it's a two one as it sits. To me, I guarantee this is not counted as a room in that square footage. Oh. So this would be the bedroom. Frame this out, put a door. There you go. Closet there. Now you got a be another bedroom. There you go. Now you're 3 1. Yeah. Now we're looking at different comps, right? So they also have, so in order to be a bedroom, you have to have a window, a closet, and heat runs. So they have a heat run coming out here. So this was the end of the house before. So this is probably the, the foundation mm -hmm. covered with wood. And then they popped in a, a, a vent right there. So that tells me, like, they actually they did a little bit of, they, they put some thought into doing this. Uh huh. There was probably some sort of a leak there. It doesn't look active because it rained like hell last week. Yeah, it would, if it was actively leaking, you would know. But with that being said, it's gonna be hard to patch that ceiling, so we're gonna have to do some drywall work up there. But let's just walk through real quick. Let's look. Let's see what it looks like, and then we're gonna start in the basement because that's gonna tell us really a lot of the story about what's going on here. All right. Nice. You got a little wood paneling, hardwood floors. 
So the scary thing is with these is, and we'll talk about it as we come back up, wood paneling, what's behind it? Is it drywall? Is it plaster? Is it, is it just framing? <clears throat> so get a good lay of the land. Bedroom here. So you got original walls here probably and paneling over there. So you can probably guess that you may have drywall behind there. Okay. But, and I'm going to go into detail about certain small things I see that you should be able to see here in a few months. Well, let's, uh, let's start, let's go to the basement here and then check out that beautiful bathroom. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's stylish. You can go ahead, Rob. That's real nice. Yeah, that's clean. Nice. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Nice. What? It's like you're looking up in the sky. <laughs> that's the skylight before they oh, made a skylight. Yes. <laughs> that's one, like, anytime it's raining, you just like, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I've never seen that. So remember a lot of the That's comps, they had these small kitchens and the cabinets were not that nice. We'll talk about that as we come up. Do you paint? Do you keep? What do you do to, to, to fetch that ARV? But let's get down to the fun stuff, which is going to be this basement. Right. And if you're on YouTube right now and you're watching this, you might not even know what a basement is. So you can skip this part. <laughs> All right. So the first thing you want to do when you get down to these basements, start smelling. I smell that right away. It doesn't smell great. No. Nah. So is it water? Is it cat piss? Is it dog shit? I think it's is a little it a mixture bit of, of all of it. Yeah, yeah. Could be a mixture of all of it. Uh -huh. So I'm going to now look past some of that stuff and see the big items. The first thing is going to be your foundation. So it's a block foundation. And the first thing that I see is they did actually do a French drain. So you can see around the base, they cut out the concrete. Mm -hmm. So they cut it out and they drop a drain in. That is nasty. Smell. That was me. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> that one was me. Uh, I'm, I'm helping out the house. That's fucked up. So you got a drain going around the whole perimeter and dropped over here, Matt, into a sump pump. So you've got this here. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do, and the power's on, you should be able to pop it over here and it should kick on. Hey. Yeah. So they're, they're idiots. Mm -hmm. And they didn't do the whole French drain. Huh. So you can see where it starts and stops here. So comes here, comes here, comes here, and they stop. Why would you do that? You see before, so dry, 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 dry. Mm -hmm wet so Why you need this in this basement so what i'm going to say is okay if we want to if we want to get that top arv we talked about we have to open this back up extend it over connect it but they've already did a lot of the legwork mm -hmm. okay so that is really good so we fix that and we can then start framing this out do a whole bunch of stuff but the next thing you want to do so i spent a lot of money and they had basement systems over here i don't even know if that's the company or not but did they fix just the water or did they, did they, do they miss foundation stuff too? So let's maybe get some lights on here. So what you want to do is look down the line. Um, come, go ahead and come over here Yeah. and just look down the line. And what you want to look for is any bowing in that wall. So you want to kind of find reference points and see. To me, it looks good. Yeah. And then also, usually there's, there's stuff laying around the house. You can get a broomstick. If you get certain things that are straight, you can mm -hmm. see if the, the wall is bowing. So you want to go to every wall. So like, like this electrical panel here, it's, it's set on a wood board. You see that it's flush all the way up. So this wall is true as well. So it's cool. sitting flush. That panel board is also sitting flush. Mm -hmm. So that tells me that this wall is also good. Cool. And we're not even talking about the electrical panel yet. We'll get there. We want to do that to every single wall. Okay, here. So the big thing you want to see here is, okay, they fixed some cracks. But here, this main one that they've shoved stuff in going all the way across, do you see it? Yeah. So that's what they call the frost line. So it's usually two or three courses down from the outside. This is where the outside freezes all, uh, in the winter time. Uh -huh. So this freezes all the time and this will bow in and out. So you got, see right here on this. yeah. So if you can see, looking down on this, this is not flush. The top is flush, the bottom is not. No. So this wall here, 
very likely needs beams probably every six feet. Mm. So probably a beam here, here, three, four, five, six beams probably. Okay. We pay 450 or so a beam. So this wall needs beamed up. They're gonna have to open up the, the ground again because you have to put them in the concrete. So we're gonna have to open this up and we gotta do it um, on top of the drainage system. So whoever did this basement system, it tells me right away that they either chose the cheaper option, <clears throat> but this is the more expensive part, ripping up the floor. Okay. And then lastly, with the foundation stuff, anytime you see, if you did not see this drainage system and you saw all this blackening, this, stuff, this is called efflorescence. So it's water staining on block. It'll turn white, it'll turn moldy. That means that the, that block is seeping water. Gotcha. You need to alleviate it. And this being alleviated, but you gotta scrape that down and paint it. And that's also the corner that you can tell outside. Yep. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, <clears throat> next. While we're talking about foundations, we want to also talk about the subfloor system. So you got joists coming across. This is where your house sits on. So this is going to be what keeps your floors level. This is what, so you build the foundation and then you start framing up with wood. So this is all around the exterior and this is going to be your main post system. So this concrete block, sometimes it's a, a metal beam, sometimes it's a wooden beam. This time it's a block. Okay. We saw termites out in the garage. Yeah. We want to look for termites here. There's termites will colonize up in these. This is called the band board. And then you got the sill plate behind it. Don't worry about the names yet, but just know that that's where they like to colonize. So what I would do is I'd be coming through here and looking for those same mud tubes that we talked about. Mm -hmm. So, or either that or any splitting, any, any clear issues. So also on these floor joists, you got some mold, some mildew. So if you want to lick it, taste it, see, nah. You can, but it, this basement, it smells wet, but it's not like crazy wet. But also the other way to identify is for us on dark work. Yep. Also, you never know how long a house has been sitting vacant too. So uh -huh. if this thing has been here, but the power's off, it's still going to get wet. Right. So you never know the, the true story. Yeah. So we're going all the way around actually looked really good. I'm fairly impressed by this basement being over here. Okay, cool. Right. So foundation looks pretty decent. We know we need about six beams over on that wall. Yep. We need to, if we, oh yeah, we need to finish, but if we want to finish the basement, if I wasn't going to finish this basement, I wouldn't do that. Okay. Because that's, that to me is very minor. So we got to make the determination. Do we want to get the 190 ARV mm -hmm. or maybe 200. Now that's a three bed <clears throat> and just like really clean this up make sure the gutters kick away, paint the ceilings black, do the gray floors, white walls, all that stuff. And I don't know if it mattered with the house next door, but they had egress built in. Yeah. Honestly, egress doesn't really matter that much anymore. Oh. Appraisers don't really do anything about that. No, they have a finished basement though. Hmm. Yeah. A similar house. Um, yeah. Cool. So let's go to the next thing. Let's talk about electric. So 40's house, do you think they had square D? beautiful panels like this in the 40s? Nah. No. So they upgraded the panel. <clears throat> so you've got your main coming in here. So this is gonna be your main line coming from that from the exterior. This is upgraded wiring. So if somebody, so a lot of these pictures you're gonna get from wholesalers, they're gonna take a picture right here. Yeah. So you gotta determine place. what is what. This is gonna be updated. This is called BX wiring, which is two wire, which means that does not have a ground in it. So this okay. will have a hot and a neutral. This will have a hot neutral and a ground. So you want to look across and see, so you got one old, one old versus that's going to be an air conditioner, two, three. So it's probably from what we see here, 30%, 25% ungrounded, which okay. is good. Yeah. Cause you expect, remember we said when coming in, you expect the old until proven otherwise. Right. Okay. And I'll show you some things um, as we go. So a lot of that stuff's actually going to the garage too. All right. Cool. So we, we talked about the electric. Um, so a lot of this stuff here. So, okay, this is a good, this is a good sign here. Let me just turn this off. Okay. So you got the old wiring coming in and then you got the new wiring splitting off. So they're tying into things. So this is what will happen a lot is this will be, they'll be like, Oh, well somebody came and replaced my electrical panel. It's new. Mm -hmm. This comes off. They split it into a J box here and split it off into new. That's still making it old because we tie old into new. It's not new. 
Right. Okay, and you'll learn that as you go. Um, I don't expect you to remember that stuff. Good. <laughs> I'm throwing a lot at you. Yeah. What is this? Huh? What is this? Plumbing. Okay. Yeah. What What part of plumbing? That's all I know. Do you know what, what kind of plumbing this is? Mm. What, okay, so this is your drain line. Okay. So this is where your, your shit and your pee slides Love down yeah, to yeah, the sewer. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> like I said in the beginning, this is original. This is called cast iron. So, you see a little bit of pinholing there. As time goes on, it'll start to corrode. So, this is original to the house. It's been here for 80 years. Wow. It can last 80, 100, 120, but you want to look for any deterioration, anything like this. If this was around the whole thing. Yeah. A lot of time. So, like here. Rob, come show this here. <clears throat> so, like that. That's a pinhole. And you see how it's starting to kind of deteriorate. And another thing. Another thing here is the cap has been taken off oh. and the cap is also plastic. So that means they've opened this up a few times and there might have been some issues in the past. And also, now that's open, you can kind of see a little bit of staining. So this might have had some backups in the past. Mm -hmm. So that is where, if you have a backup, poop and pee is going to kind of start going back up through your basement. Nice. That's where you would snake the line <clears throat> and you got to make a note of that. Gotcha. And then beyond that, You've got lead right here. So your toilet is a, this is a lead drain. Okay. So if this was me and we were gonna flip it and then you got a nice galvanized here, so you got a mix of everything old. I would just cut it out from here all the way to the toilet because we're gonna be replacing that plumbing anyway. Yeah. And just do all of this new. Cause I mean, you got just a smorgasbord over here of just crazy shit going on. <laughs> so I would just, if it looks crazy, if it looks like a rat, smells like a rat, it probably sucks, right? Yeah. So just cut it out, redo it. Because once again, an inspector is going to come in and raise a red flag. You want uh -huh. to sell this to somebody, or if it's a rental for us, we don't want to have to deal with issues down the line no. either. So fix no. the big stuff. Okay, next, um, water heater. So much like the air conditioner, how old is this thing? Two one 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 one. Okay, so it's either at 21. Yep, there you go. Yeah. So a water heater will last 10 to 12 years. Nice. So it's three years old. That's something if we were budgeting for this, I'm keeping. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. I mean, you're saving 1200 bucks right for there. Sure. <clears throat> okay. Next, behind you. What is this? AC. <laughs> nope. Heater. Furnace. Yeah. Um, just by glance, how does it look? Older. Okay. Yeah. So you want to use kind of context clues. How old is that air conditioner outside? Uh, 24 years old. Okay. Right. And if this looks older, I would just right away be like, oh, it's probably 24. Yeah. It's matching. Yeah. It looks pretty similar to that actually. Okay. So now same scenario. So model and serial right here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take a look. What's the serial number say? Is that that one? No, the one below it. Right here. Nine six zero six eight okay, one. Okay, so it's either so ninety six or an 06. Okay. Either one of those is old. Got it. So I'm replacing it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I'm coming in. Even if I can kick it on, I already know the AC needs replaced. Yeah. This whole thing is a little bit screwy anyway. I'm just gonna replace it all. Mm -hmm. So AC, this is your line set. This is where the refrigerant runs in, into your A coil. So this is really the important part of an air conditioner. This cools the air and drops it down into the furnace cabinet, which then pushes the air into the ductwork. Damn. Okay. So you just want to make sure that you have ductwork to each room. You don't really need to know much more than that. If it doesn't have ductwork, you need it. All that stuff. So always just be looking for um, ductwork. Um, cool. So we talked about furnaces, air conditioners, water heaters, plumbing. We now have the second part of plumbing, which is your supply lines. <clears throat> so what is this? Water meter. Okay. So this is how the city knows how much water you're using. It's your responsibility from the meter up. Okay. They're responsible from, actually you're responsible from the, 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 actually the street in. So if this thing starts to leak in the yard, you have to dig your yard up. Um. So very likely this is original. This is galvanized plumbing probably, which means it's 80, what is this face built, 42? 82 mm -hmm. years old. It's old. So a lot of these old houses, they're that, so I don't know if we can find any of the galvanized lines, but galvanized is gray. Okay. And over time it shrinks like this. You won't be able to see it from the outside, but it wow. shrinks like that. And then after time you have no water pressure and you have to dig your stuff up. So 
This here is called CPVC, plastic, it's shitty. Once a house is vacant and the water has been turned off or winterized, once you turn this back on, it'll split. Mm. So if you see this and the house has been vacant, let's just budget for new water lines. Gotcha. So down here we got new furnace, mm -hmm. new water lines, new plumbing stack. That's what we're gonna call that over there. <clears throat> Six basement beams. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Without yep. finishing the basement, we got to paint the ceilings. We got to paint the walls and the floors. Um, I think that's probably it, right? I think so. We got our washer and dryer down here, which we got. We'll probably keep the same. <clears throat> but if we do finish this basement, what we would do is take this down, frame it off, probably from here over, or maybe like here over. Okay. Make this kind of your. You need a laundry room, or you have doors near your laundry. Have this maybe finished. So if you, you have, uh, that's also a plumbing stack. So this is where also, th this has been open too. Mm -hmm. So that tells me that there's, there's been backups in this, in this uh, house. This is where you want to put a shower, a bathroom if you put it down here. Okay. Because this is exactly, this is a drain. Anytime you put a bathroom down in the basement, you have, to, uh, you, have to take, you have to take out concrete. So if I put a toilet right here, I have to dig out the concrete to here to tie in. It's expensive. That sounds like a so pain. So you want to, if, if we were going to add a bathroom down here, I'd put it right here. Okay. So I'd, I'd frame this out to here, maybe go all the way across bathroom. Then you have maybe closet space and then it opens up into your finished area where this would just be all finish and just a hangout spot. So with the electrical not all being updated, are you keeping it as is? Some of it is? I'm going to, I don't know enough yet. Okay. I got to look in through the yeah, because it might be okay to be in certain walls. If you're not gutting everything, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Kitchens and bathrooms need to be updated. Okay. Three wire grounded electric. Because okay. yeah, this is this 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 is where the carbon monoxide goes. So definitely here. I mean, this is open. Mm -hmm. So this is this is shooting right back out. So the, the furnace and the water heater. This is where the CO2 gas goes up and through the chimney. So chimneys are necessary. Yeah. But if we go, we have to fix this regardless because water heater or we switch the water heater to electric. Oh. And then we go high efficient on a furnace and that will go out the side of the house. Options. Options. Cool. We're all in these old houses, always going high efficient. Okay. Not really. You won't really need to know that, but old houses into probably like 60, 70s, always upgrading to high efficient because I don't trust any of these chimneys. And once you get into a home inspection, no home inspector likes to look at them. So they just refer a, pro a professional. Ah. And once a professional chimney person is involved, there's not that many of them. They jack the prices up crazy. Yeah, because no one knows, right? Nobody knows. Yeah. So like, how are you gonna check them? Yeah. So a bill, an average bill we get from those people are five, 10, 15 grand. Jeez. All right. All righty. So, okay. Okay. So if we can kind of zoom back from when we were looking at comps, we need, uh, we need just basic type finishes. We need mm -hmm. a, a decent kitchen, we need maybe a subway backsplash, LVP floors. So what are we doing to this kitchen? I don't know. See, my question was, I don't know if you wanted to um, <clears throat> just paint over the cabinets okay. or replace them because they look decent. See, that's a, that's a great thing yeah. to think about because that's, that's what I'm thinking too. Mm -hmm. And the answer to that is always going to be what do the comps say. Right. So for me, these are decent wooden oak cabinets. Yeah, these, are are not, decent, yeah. these are not pressed wood. These are just like 90s mm -hmm. older. Right. I'm going to... I'm going to paint these all day if I cool. can. Nice. Um, so, but then there's the layout, what you want it to be. Mm. Cause if not, it's gonna be hard. So you got this. Okay. You at least have a dishwasher. That's huge. Yeah. And then you can maybe stick a fridge over there somewhere. I mean, you don't really don't have room for a fridge. There's really there. not maybe in the corner. Yeah. That could be okay. Yeah. Um, this is also an 18, 20, an 18 inch. Pretty small. Dishwasher. Anything that's non-conventional is super expensive. Um, so a 24 inch dishwasher is actually way cheaper than a smaller one. Really? It's really wild. Huh. <clears throat> um, and then you want to just check the integrity. I mean, they look good. Yeah. So let's, we can write that down. We have to, so then when we go run the deal analysis, we can do them both ways. Uh -huh. So, okay. If we do, if we do replace it, if we paint, Love it. what's yeah. the, what's the give and take? Cool. <clears throat> and that's what you need to be looking at. Um, we got to what? Rip out the drop ceilings. Yeah. Okay. So if I, just open this up. Let me just pop up here. Look how fucking things up. I always want to know what's under these because you don't just do drop ceilings for no reason. Now, I will say I wasn't around in the 90s 
to know why the fuck they did this stuff. So they got drywall, drywall ceilings. So they got lucky on this one. So I would, yep, actually really nice drywall. I would drop this down, patch the ceilings. There's a light fixture right in the middle there that they tied into and just keep the drywall. Sweet. So demo down. Cool. Whatever, they're gonna take that out anyway. <coughs> Keep, we're keeping these lights up here though. I love Absolutely, that. we're yeah. taking those to the office. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so take this out. Uh huh. Take the, so demo out the countertops, demo the backsplash. Yeah. Paint the counter, or paint the cabinets. Granite, subway tile to match. New sink, new faucet. All that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then before you know it, it'll look beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, there you have it. So ground fault, test and reset button here. I know I'm throwing a lot at you. Tell me yep. to slow down if you need. <clears throat> this tells me that it's grounded. Because if it wasn't, it wouldn't work. And then if I'm doing my hair, if I'm cooking here, and my, my straightener drops in the water here, mm -hmm. and I'm plugged in there, it will turn off. That That's test and reset good. button. No, that is good. Oh, that is good. You want yeah, it to yeah. turn off. Yeah, yeah. Or else, if, it, if it's ungrounded, it'll continue to shock and you act as the ground. It's not great. That's not good. That's not good. All right. <clears throat> door. Um, yeah, we need a door. I'm fix my shoe here. It's a lot. And that's like most Linden houses. You got these tiny little compartment, compartment kitchens. Uh huh. All right, so door, I need to look at the other doors and see. So hopefully this is a standard size door, so at least know that we need to put a door here. This is actual wood paneling here too. This might actually look good painted two-tone, so I would maybe try and keep, anytime you don't have to remove paneling, if it's actual wood, it's good. Good. And then here, what is, it's an outlet. Do you know what this means? It's old. Okay. Right. So it doesn't, doesn't have, have the third doesn't one. Have the, third, the third one, which tells me that's ungrounded. So those old wires that we we're looking at, they run to some of these outlets. So gotcha. we want to look around the house <clears throat> and see which ones are still like mm -hmm. that. And if I had an outlet tester, I would really be able to tell because you can still put a newer outlet in an in old wire. Oh, okay. For so all. don't let that always fool you. Ah. Okay. So demo up the floors, LVP through all of this. Then what do we got here? Uh, we got an old fan. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I want to do is count lights. Yeah. So we got one light in the kitchen. This is being ran from there, probably to an outlet. Uh -huh. I don't even think that that has an actual, actual power source. Yeah, it's being ran to right there. <laughs> so they're running it up this chair rail. Nice. So there's probably no power here. Okay. But the cool thing about this, this is a ranch house. The only thing about this is attic. There's not second story. You can run wires up and drop lights wherever you want. Sweet. So we definitely run a flush mount here. And then what else we got? What are the components of this room? Floor. Okay. Goes to go. We got older hardwood. This yeah. could be refinished if you want. Okay. But you also want to look at other things. You want to look at, okay, you have to LVP that because it's already tile. Do you want to have two different floors? I would much rather just have one floor going yeah. through everything. Yeah, it looks so cleaner. I would just LVP right over this hard floor. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I uh, had hibachi yesterday. Dude, that was nasty, <laughs> bro. That was nasty, bro. Thank you. You look nice when smell just crop dusted me so bad. That's <laughs> 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 nice. All right. All right. So the next thing you want to look at, okay, what what Jesus, do the walls man. look like? Jeez. Man. Um. <laughs> uh, it's like wallpaper. Okay, wallpaper. Yeah. Have you ever I, tried to remove wallpaper? I've before? heard it's a real pain. It's a huge pain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, do you want a budget for worst case scenario here? to almost demo these walls. So okay. like we'll, we'll, we'll budget for all new drywall in this room if we need. So if we can't, if we were in pictures right now, if we were looking at this on the picture, I'd say all the way, mm -hmm. but 
if you want to come here and kind of like pull some stuff off, you can kind of get a feel for what it's going to be like. It may not be, eh, it's going to be bad. That's going to be sticky. Yep. It's going to be bad. So in the, de the deal analyzer, you'll see like general skim coat or general drywall punch. Right. So this room would at least be like one or two. Okay. <clears throat> Huh? Okay, what else? So we talked about floors, we talked mm -hmm. about walls. Um, Ceiling's all right. Ceiling looks good. Yeah. Uh, what other components? Um, I mean, right here, this looks old, right? Okay, what is that? The door trim. Okay. Yeah, it's like kind of So for me, out. there's not even a door there. I'm just gonna rip that out and, use, and drywall it out. So make okay. sure it's trimmed. <clears throat> so here, I would get rid of this. This this means nothing. I don't yeah, even know why it's here. It's probably like a uh, what do they call those? Like Chinese cabinets, medicine cabinet, whatever. So I I remove this, drywall it in, so it's all flush. And then you want to look at all of your trim. So you got your your baseboard, mm. which looks good, and you already have cord around here, which is good. So when we lay LVP, LVP is going to go all the way up to the trim. We can pull this cord around off, and it's already cut for this, so we just keep it. Okay. If it didn't, we'd have to quarter around. So like here, oh, it has quarter around too. So that's good. And we have good trim. This is wood trim. It's actually really nice. Um, so we're gonna try and keep this. We're gonna paint it and just clean it all up. Cool. All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Heat register. Mm -hmm. So I'd always count those up, replace them. These are old cast iron ones. These ones are not easy to find. Okay. So what we're going to do with these is keep them and paint them. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So we are in our next living room, AKA third bedroom. Third bedroom. Yeah. Okay. What do we have to do to make this a bedroom? Uh, we got to fix that shit up there. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, add some lights. Can you show that? What? Yeah, right there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, we got to put a new floor in. Okay. Right? Yep. Uh, um, b -b 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 -boom. Fix this shit right here. What do you think was there? A window. Okay, maybe. From a garage, right? What else do you think could be? I don't know. Wall unit AC, probably. Okay. <clears throat> or that, yeah. More so than see, okay. Just drywall that in and it's good to go. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, we're gonna need cord around here because we're gonna lay LVP or we can carpet it. Oh, I mean, this yeah. could be a nice soft room. We could be yeah. carpet in the bedrooms if we're gonna flip it. So that could be a good option. Yeah, a good carpet bedroom is nice. Okay, we got a light fixture up there, right? Yep. And yep, then yep, yep, general yep. outlets and switches is always what we need to do. So all these turn to white. Got it. Yep, we gotta frame this in and put a door. So since this is the highest point, I'd probably frame it. Like 80 inches, that's probably 80 inches there. So door probably right here in the middle. Boom, open up. Solid though, and we gotta frame out a closet. So probably here or along that back wall, you can kind of go all the way across, however you wanna do it, mm -hmm. but you know it needs to go. You got all that written down? Yeah, most of it. <coughs> so. yeah. Could do a bathroom there. Like, it's gonna be really hard to get plumbing there. Actually, it'd be pretty easy. You just build it up. Nah, that would suck. Okay, next. You gonna always look at your doors. What, do you know what, the, what we call these? Uh, half a door. Okay, hollow core, these are slabs. Okay. So they have no texture to them. They don't have any indents. These are just cheap ass hollow core slab doors. You can get these at Lowe's. Yep. We're gonna upgrade these to six panel um, hollow core doors. All so right. they have a little bit of, and they're all broken, right? Yeah. Three, <coughs> six doors. Yep, six doors. We're gonna do the closet door too. Did you count that one? Seven doors. Okay, did you count the other closet door? 
Eight doors. Okay, eight doors. <laughs> so what I like to do is I just like to make like when I'm writing this out, yeah. say we're looking at pictures, mm -hmm. uh, in like in the future we're gonna have like a a, a, a clipboard you can come yeah. with and just like Perfect. doors. Clipboard, yeah. Just Perfect. check all of it. Each room. Yeah. And kind of go room by room, like we said. I love that clipboard idea. Yeah. Okay. Flush mount light. These are old aluminum windows. So this one's actually pretty shitty. It's old. I would probably replace this. Okay. Yeah. All right, window. I don't know how to tell if this thing is. Same with this one in here. If we wanted to look closer at this, this is definitely fog too. So to be able to tell that, look down in this window. You see the seal, that's the black part. Mm -hmm. See how cracked it is? Yeah. That's usually when it'll bubble, it'll crack, it'll start to push out. Mm -hmm. So in here, bedrooms, <clears throat> let's say we just LVP throughout the entire house. Okay. We gotta remove the paneling. Hopefully there's drywall behind it, but we gotta always expect the worst. Okay. So if we do get into this house and there's, there's drywall behind it, and we didn't know, then that's icing on the cake. We just saved a thousand bucks. Sweet. <clears throat> Ceilings look good. This place has been heavily smoked in, so we're yeah. probably gonna have to do a layer of extra primer, maybe uh -huh. kills, K-I-L-L-Z. Kills. Okay, we already got the doors, light fixtures. So we got another light. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> and then also with doors, you wanna count how many hinges are on each. So these are three hinge doors and a doorknob. So all that stuff costs money. Yeah. This one has two hinges and it's an old door. So <coughs> you're not the project manager, so I don't, I don't expect you to go that deep. Cool. So just know that that's a thing and eventually you'll get that good. But as of right now, it doesn't matter. All righty. All right. How many light fixtures are we getting? One. So we're just going to replace where they're already at. Okay. One. We'll count, uh, we'll count the bathroom separate. Two. We're running electric for that one. Three. Four over there. Five in the kitchen. I think five. Okay. Six, seven outside. All right. In here, pretty standard. It's actually very clean. So you got nail holes throughout. Obviously, you have to paint, but you have to prep for paint. So you have to do drywall punch. Coming in, fill the holes, sand it down, clean it up so it has a nice and smooth uh, finish to it. Windows, this one's fogged as well. So just the general yeah. thing we talked about, have a window guy come in. Right. But <clears throat> expect to replace a decent amount of them or repair the, the paint. Mm -hmm. All right, you already got all the doors, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Now bathroom. Woo! This thing's a full gut. Okay. So when you say full gut, what do you mean by that? I mean, rip it all out. Like drywall and everything? Mm -hmm. Okay. For me, I'm trying to, I'm always trying to keep what I can. Okay. So you got a little bit of wallpaper, which sucks, but hopefully it'll pull off like that, yeah. which is great. I'm trying to keep the walls and the ceiling for sure. So this, all right, so that's not a full gut. Huh. Okay. So I'm ripping out the tile. I'm ripping out the tub. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm probably ripping out the, the chair rail and the, the paneling, ripping out the vanity. So really you're gonna have drywall from here up and then this will be open. I'll probably rip out this too cause we're gonna go tile from tub all the way to ceiling. Yeah. And then um, you got to tile around this window. So all the components that go with this. So old tub, this might be able to clean up but worst case scenario I'm replacing it. Mm -hmm. So this is a left hand train, left hand tub. Actually you don't even know that that'd be. So tub, we're gonna remove this here too. Anytime you have three handles, this is old shit, mm -hmm. get rid of it. So you need one handle, right. one spigot, Amazon stuff. We have to replace that in the back though. So you'll see in the deal analyzer, shower um, rough. This is the shower rough. Okay. So this is stuff behind the walls and the finish. <clears throat> but you gotta do that when you have the walls open. So then you insulate, then you sheetrock or uh, tile board, and then you tile. Okay. So you got a whole bunch of components there. Roger that. Spit that back to me real quick. Oh God. 
So <laughs> there's a lot. New tub. Yeah, new tub. All right. Just this, just this first. All right. So. Okay, we set gonna, the new tub. Yeah, we're gonna replace that. Okay. On the Amazon, get the one thing. Yep. Right. Um, tile all the way up. Okay. Then tile around the windows. Okay. And then new shower. Okay. Cool. So in this case. In the deal analyzer, we have a full uh, remodel from studs. Okay. You can almost just count it as half. Okay, perfect. About half. Perfect. Cool. And then we have a new vanity. It's probably gonna be a 30 incher. 30 inch vanity. We're gonna need a new mirror, new vanity light, new exhaust fan, new toilet, new supply lines, new outlets, new switches, new towel bars, towel, towel bars new toilet paper holders, all that stuff. That yeah. adds up fast. We want to try to also keep the trim. The trim's decent. That's okay. not. You got to replace that trim. All right. Trim's all cool. right. So yeah. that kind of concludes all of it. Yeah, that's that. So what we'll do now is we'll go back to the office, sit down, and run through a deal analyzer and see right. what we should be offering, run through money costs, all that stuff. But let's get these lights turned off and uh, let's hit the road. Let's do it. So what? If we're going to run numbers on that house as a flip, what are the, what are the, what's the formula that we use? The formula? Yep, because we're going to plug and play numbers now. Okay. Flip um, offer. Yeah, the offer. Okay. And then the rehab. Okay. So what you, the, you offer is what? So how do you get to this number? How do you get to flip offer? How do you get to the flip offer? <clears throat> um, through comps. Okay. So what is that? What would that be? A or V? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then what? And then how much profit you're gonna make? Okay, what's so we're working backwards. What do we do before that? Rehab. Before that, so we're selling the house. What happens when we sell the house? Realtor costs and closing costs. Okay. Times 0.94. Five percent for realtors, one percent for closing costs. Right. Okay. Minus what? I don't know. Rehab. Rehab, yeah. Minus <clears throat> what? Minus the asking price. I haven't really done all this. Man. Okay, I'm not sure. that's all right. <laughs> yeah. Minus money. Okay. Costs. Minus first closing. Minus profit margin. So this will get you to an offer price here. So we'll take the ARV, then we'll, like the big thing is gonna be rehab, and we'll talk about money costs here during that. So first closing is typically, we're running this at 2,500 bucks. So we can already pop that in. <clears throat> okay, and let's look at this as a uh, rental offer. So Burr. Do you know anything about this? No. Okay, so ARV times 0.75 because that's what the bank is going to lend you. Okay. Minus rehab, minus money, minus first closing. So instead of taking your profit, you're keeping it in this deal as a rental property. So on a flip, you're extracting your equity in a sale, cash. So if you're all in 100 and you sell it for 150, you're extracting that 50 in a sale. Okay. If the house is worth 150 and you get a 75% loan to value loan, you're getting a loan for about 120. You're, you're taking that profit margin and leaving it in as a rental property gotcha. for your cash flow. <clears throat> and we'll go over those um, as we go. Yeah. So okay, so let's just start, let's just look at this one as a flip here first. So we determined, so let's say we keep it as a three bed, one bath. What did we say ARV was on that? We said so it was a two one, it was 185. The two one was 185, yeah. yeah. So the three one would be 200, a little bit over. It's called 200. Yeah. 200,000 mm -hmm. times 0.94. What does that equal? So 
you take off $12,000 right off top just to sell the house. Wow. So we're going to boom, we're going to stop there, and then we're going to we're gonna run rehab numbers now, and then we'll get back to this and figure out, we're going to work backwards on it. Okay, gotcha. So, cool. So knowing what we just went through, mm-hmm. let's walk through this. So how big is that house? So let's go one more time to the auditor site. 857 Melrose. 873. Okay, so let's look at the sketch. So it does have this FR, what did that mean? One story frame, so it does have that as part of the, the, the house. So 920 is with that. That's good to know. Okay. So full interior paint job. Uh-huh. I usually go 950, a little bit more <coughs> to uh-huh. add for overage and material overage. Okay, so that's gonna be your walls, your ceiling, your trim. What else we got here? So exterior paint. Exterior, uh, we were gonna do um, just the wood part, right? Okay. And that was an eighth, I think. Yep. What we say, like two hundred square foot. Yeah, two hundred squares. Yeah. And then the garage is probably uh-huh. what another three hundred. Yeah. So let's call it five hundred square foot. <clears throat> so let's just say we're not finishing the basement here. Okay. So paint doors, we had two, right? Yeah. Paint garage floor, no. Basement ceilings, yes. Basement walls, basement floors. Get it to nice and clean. Drywall. How much square foot of drywall you think? So we got the bathroom area. Yeah. We have the one bedroom. And we have the living room. Okay. And then we have the ceiling in that addition area. So maybe 400 square foot, you think? Sounds good. Always guess a little bit higher than what you think. Right. Um, insulate walls. We'll probably have to re-insulate the bathroom. <clears throat> so maybe 100. Drywall punch. Actually, let's go two because some of those walls need a little bit more love. Right. So that's coming through skimming the walls with the spatula. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> new vanity. One. Towel bars. Toilet paper. New toilet. New mirror. New shower system. Remember we talked about that? Yeah. New shower surround. That's subway tile. Actually, let's go full tub, rough in, and finish. Um, new exhaust fan, so let's go half there because it's already roughed in. <clears throat> Somebody keeps messing with my thing, boy. Oh, that's because I did this. I'm an idiot. <clears throat> All right, new granite countertops. Is that a small kitchen or a large kitchen? Small. <clears throat> yep. Subway backsplash. <clears throat> Paint cabinets, large or small? Small. Okay. Man, why do I keep doing that? <clears throat> okay, we're not doing new cabinets. That's good. So we need a new fridge. New dishwasher. So I'm going to go 1.5 on that because it's a little bit bigger. Or 1.25. Or smaller and yeah. bigger. Uh, microwave, stove, <coughs> install appliances. Okay, we're doing LVP throughout, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so how many square feet? 900, 950. Okay, 950. And then add some cord around for the one room and the bathroom. So let's go 0.25. We're not refinishing hardwood, we're not doing any tile, we're not doing high end, <clears throat> we're not installing exterior doors, no. we're not installing, we are installing interior doors. How many do we have? Yeah, uh, let's see. Go from high. Basement door, closet door, Eight closet doors, door. Eight doors, it says door. here. Okay. Eight doors, we trim around door, so we had the trim around the door and the outside. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Eight door handles and hinges. <clears throat> handrail for stairs down to the basement and we had to trim half of the bathroom yeah it's a really small size but yeah. we'll go there um we're we doing any framing i don't recall so we're adding that door to make it the third bedroom yeah and we yeah. need to add a closet too mm-hmm. right yeah so let's go frame a wall to add a bedroom that's probably gonna 
that's probably what that means. <clears throat> Landscape, basic. Yeah, basic. <clears throat> Pressure wash, right? Yeah. Small house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Concrete patch steps. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Drive, um, are we gonna asphalt? Tonight? Um, let's put it as asphalt, and let's okay. see. Um, so that's what maybe like hundred square foot. No, that's not it. Hundred. It's gonna be more than four hundred twenty square foot. So let's go four hundred square. Foot. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we're not full gutting this house, are we? No. All right, we're running, uh, removing a wall. No. No. Nope. Uh, bathroom to studs. Yes. Okay. No. Half, Wait, right? We? Yeah, half. That's right. Kitchen. Yeah. Half. Half. Because we got countertops, see it drop ceiling, mm -hmm. backsplash. We're gonna need a um, 40 yard dumpster probably for the whole thing. And they already removed the debris in the house. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Any fascia? Yeah. Okay, where? Mm -hmm. Both sides of the garage? The garage. The left side of the house? house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe, it should be linear feet, but probably, I mean, how far, how long, how far, how long do you think the house is? 30. 30, so. And then Maybe let's out. call it 100. Yeah. We're not doing any vinyl siding. We're not doing any roofing. Windows. Yeah. Let's just do it as if we were going to replace them. What was it, five? Yeah, five. <clears throat> uh, we're not adding a deck. We're not adding a downspout. We're not doing all new gutters. We could do gutters on the garage. So mm -hmm. let's go maybe half of that for the garage. Uh, we're doing two glass block windows for the garage, right? Yeah. Mailbox and house numbers, one. Uh, we're not building a garage, but we do need a one car opener. <clears throat> we need a furnace. Yes. We need an air conditioner. Yes. Uh, we need register covers, right? Yeah. How many? So we got, I would always count like at least one a room, okay. right? So two bedrooms, three bedrooms, living room, kitchen, Four, for probably like six, six or seven. Yeah, three six. Room. Well, we're painting the other ones. Yeah. Plumbing stack, we're replacing, right? Mm -hmm. um, we're not roughing in a half bath. We're not doing a new water heater. We're not fully roughing in things. Um, we don't have full all new water lines. So that's something we got to make, we got to add to that, but. That's okay for now. We've got, what, six basement beams? Yeah, exactly, <coughs> six. Um, possibly treat for termites. Definitely. And we're not rebuilding foundation walls. We're not doing anything like that. Uh, we're not roughing in any electric. We're not panel swapping. How many light fixtures do we have? Three, four, seven. five, seven. Outlets always switch to white. Staging and final clean. Oops. With a 20% contingency, I always like to, because you never know if that sewer line's all backed up or anything. Yeah. So, um, so 10,000 plus. Very cool. So I guess that's a 61 six. Let's write that down. And that's to do it like that's to do it well. Right. <clears throat> cool. So I'm gonna pause that. I'm gonna end that here, and then we're gonna go back to the board here. All right. So we just figured out what was the rehab. Sixty-one six minus sixty-one six hundred minus. Now our money costs are still gonna be a little bit gray so we're going to get to there here in a minute money minus profit so if we're a flipper how much do we want to make what how long do you think that rehab is going to take i think four or five months okay four or five months from start to sell probably mm -hmm. so let's call it five months <clears throat> let's write that down five months start to sell to exit <clears throat> that's gonna our money costs are gonna really depend on that so how much profit do we want to make on a house like that? 30. 30 grand? Okay. At least 30. At least, yeah. So $30,000. <clears> so 
let's put that all together. So 100, so 188, so that's gonna be your, with realtor costs taken out, 188 minus 61,600 minus 2,500, which is gonna be your closing costs on the front end. You paid the closing costs on the front end because remember, we're buying from wholesalers. Yeah. We're paying closing costs on the front side. Uh, minus 30,000. So without money costs, what does that get you to? Ninety-three nine. Okay. Ninety-three nine hundred. So this will get us close enough to figure out what money costs would be. So I'm gonna get a little in depth here. So imagine this was our purchase price. Okay. Ninety-three nine plus sixty-one six. What does that equal? Uh, one fifty-ish. So this would be our purchase price. One fifty-five five. So plus sixty-one six hundred equals what? 155.5. Okay, so this would be our all in. Okay. If, if 93.9 was our offer, this would be our private money loan for five months. So 155 times, let's call it 14% interest. What does that equal? 155 times 0.14. So that's going to be a year long note. At times 0.14, yep. So that's me. 21,700. 21,700. That's gonna be a full year. So this would be a full year of interest if we held that the entire time. Wow. So now do 21,700 divided by 12. Uh, let's see, 1,808. So 1,808. 0 0.3333. 1,808 point what? Three, 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 three. Three, three times five months. $9,041.66. So this would be our money cost. So if we didn't calculate our money costs on here, <clears throat> that 30 grand profit would turn into 20 if we didn't calculate for our money. So now we're just gonna take this 93.9 that we had before 93,900, which would have been our offer price before. And let's just take 15 grand off of it. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because, <clears throat> or 10, let's take 10 grand off of it minus 10 K because that's going to be our whole, our money cost for that, for that uh, offer equals <clears throat> 83,900. So this is what you had gone through to offer 83,900 on this property. <clears throat> wow. That's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. So, 83,9 should equal ARV minus, times 0.94 minus our 60,000 rehab, mm -hmm. minus our $10,000 of money costs, minus our first closing, minus our 30,000 profit margin. Wow. So, we're taking all of that and it gives us to a, an offer that we know, like that is, we work backwards to yeah. the offer. Not, they send us a number and we work to it. <clears throat> it's just a suggestion. Wow. So I know that he bought that for 105. Uh -huh. So for us, I would have to go back through and figure out what we can get rid of. And that's with us painting the cabinets. I mean, we're really not doing anything extraordinary. There. Right, yeah. So <clears throat> these rehabs do add up. So um, now we can do the same thing. We already have it written out. So ARV times 0.75, so let's do it on the Burr method. So this would be a flip offer. And really they should almost be the same. Flip offer is that. So let's go Burr here. Equals ARV, what's, what is, actually let me just write this out. What is our 200,000? And our ARV could be maybe, maybe be a little more. Right but this is a conservative good number okay. times 0.75. Okay. What does that equal? I 160. 
I've done that for ARV a bunch of times. I think it's 160. <coughs> 150. 150. Oh. I wish it was 160. Yeah, minus 150. So this would be your loan amount from the bank. Minus our 66. Six. Minus 10,000 money costs. Minus our first closing. So what does that equal? I can tell you. Should be right around the same. $70,900. So we need to get this at even less to buy it as a rental property with no money in. Gotcha. So if we kept this as a rental, we would probably keep 15 grand in it at the end of the day. Wow. But that's okay. I mean, that's not the worst thing. I mean, you own a $200,000 asset for 15 grand. It's a balancing act. Yeah. So what you are going to be looking at mostly is flip offer. Yeah, for sure. Okay. But what you need to know, start compartmental uh, and start understanding. So like this was, you're putting out 130 grand of all in money to make 30 grand. Now, if we're looking at a house that we're deploying 400 grand cash mm -hmm. for four or five, six, seven months, that profit margin needs to go up. Yeah. So we might get you a little, make you a little chart saying like, Hey, what's acceptable, what's not. So oh, you can't yeah. just run 30 grand for everything, okay. you know? Right. <clears throat> so then also, for example, we saw those houses, like I said, when we were driving there mm -hmm. that sold as is right. for 140. Yeah. Right. So then you got to kind of look at it both ways and be like, okay, if they don't like the offer for our 83, nine offer, can we realistically bump this up to 95, a hundred knowing that we can probably throw it on the market for 140 yeah 135 still make money Paint right yeah. so you don't want to live by this number mm -hmm. because there are other ways you can make money but this is the way we make money putting all, when we start swinging hammers on it wow yeah so any questions on that <laughs> yeah what the hell <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, man we'll I go mean, over it more yeah and more that's, as, as time that's goes a lot on. for sure but so that's that's it wow Crazy.